All right, what's up, guys? It's Mitchell Deity, and I have pulled Kane. If you want to see my summons, uh, the summons will be on a second channel down below. I have a second YouTube channel that I'm going to be uploading all my summon videos and like Road to Champion RTA on the new tutorial account. So if any of you are um, wanting to see how I climb up an RTA on a new account, that channel's there. There's going to be a bunch of other stuff, probably some other game content on there too for other gacha games. But we did pity Kane. I'm going to go ahead and show my builds real quick, and I'm going to show like a showcase of it and let you know what I think. So one thing real quick is rift mode for new players, guys. Don't worry about rift mode. Don't If you're a new player, I wouldn't bother summoning for Kane. There's a chance you're going to get him, and if you're new, just farm hunts for now. And then before rift, rift is a four to six month long game mode. So before rift goes away, you'll want to go and try to clear it to get the rewards. But for right now, just focus on the regular parts of your account and don't worry about Rift. Don't go pulling Haste. Don't go pulling Kane and all the characters for it. You're better off just farming Hunts. Like farming Hunts in comparison to Rift, the difference mainly is gear. Um, but not farming Rift without Hunts. The problem is you're not getting any Mystic Metals. You're not getting any uh, Powder. You're not getting any Stamina Return. So when farming Hunts, you get uh, Skystone Drops plus Stamina Drops. So you actually get some Return for it. So overall, uh, this game mode seems like just a very in-game player that are targeting specific gear sets. And it's a way for people like me on my main account to do something other than hunt. And I think it is more efficient overall uh, in terms of as long as you can clear it in one run, it's definitely more efficient than hunts. But just for new players, do not worry about it. So this is the cane, though. I built him rage set. He's 93 crit chance, which is fine. Um, I'm going to showcase him. So I'm using Dingo. Dingo is a character that I just thought was funny. So he's on my Rift team. Um, next up, we're going to have my uh, Haste. So this is what my Haste looks like. A little bit of damage, a little bit of speed with a 110 effectiveness. He doesn't need that much because I have Hazel. But um, So I have him. He's on r &L. And then uh, Dingo was on Alabastian for the RD. So one thing is Kane is on his RD as well. I was able to get three copies of it. It is adding significant damage. So just keep that in mind. But um, one thing left is Hazel. So 220 effect resist. So I, in terms of Rift, just so you guys know when watching this for the showcase, my Rift level is only level six. So the problem with my Rift level being only level six is you're not going to be able to see super well as to how much damage is possible. So I'm going to go ahead and just manual just so we can try to set up a, uh, try to set up a big hit with Kane. So he has been doing, he does pretty decent damage and he's very consistent on auto. I will say he's, this is best in slot for here in terms of Kane being used anywhere else. I might try him on some stuff tomorrow, but the thing is this S1, he's always enraged in this fight, meaning that he's always activating rock smash, but also he ignores effect resist for the bleed. Ignoring effect resist for the bleed adds so much consistency to your rift team. It's insane. Uh, one of the biggest problems with Rift is the constant 15%. So one thing with Rift is if you don't land defense break, your run's just kind of cooked at that point, and it really sucks. But overall, one another annoying thing is no soul burn in Rift. Your damage just falls off dramatically. Because if you could soul burn Kane, Kane plus soul burn, uh, soul burn Kane plus Dingo skill reset, he can S3 like every turn, and it's super, super cool. But if you're curious on the damage on him, you saw the stats there. He is not fully awakened on his skill one. I am one catalyst away, and I had no way to get it, sadly, for this. But I'm just going to go ahead and let's attack buff Kane for this. We may end up dying because I'm doing this instead of us 2 here. But um, so we're going to soul burn it. So you can see the damage here. This is with a plus 21 already rage set. He's able to do on this level six rift so i don't have a huge damage bonus my damage bonus is only like 20 and it goes up to 100 at rift level 25 i believe so with only 20 i'd be getting 75 percent more damage at the end which means kane would hit for like 200 something damage there and then you can also change to the 15 percent more damage uh first row of rift for all your characters to do 15 percent more damage and i'm going to switch to that when i'm trying to one shot this so he'll end up doing like 250,000 on his s3 that's pretty good. I think 250,000 is like an entire bar of health or more. It might be more than an entire bar of health. So he's definitely going to be the best in slot for this. Just adding consistency. His overall damage is great. There's there's a lot of benefits for him for sure. And we'll see his S1 damage here. So I'm just going to, well, let's S3 to try to get the defense break. And we did get it. Nice. So... I do run Idols Cheer on my Hazel because it pushes uh, Kane up every time we get hit, which is nice. So the S1 damage with only two debuffs, we're hitting for 32k into 
19k. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. So I'm going to go ahead and burn Dingo, try to just stack as many debuffs as we can get before the end. We have 15 turns left. So it, right now on auto, I'm beating it in three runs, which is okay for being only level six. But I definitely, if I manual um, this, I, I was able to beat it in two runs. So 60 stamina for completing it at level six is insane. That means I definitely should be able to one shot uh, at the at the max level. So let's go ahead and give Kane the juice right here. Give him the greater attack buff. Uh, get a little healing here. And then now Kane should hit four. What do we have? 70 buffs. It should just be the 120,000. So I think max debuffs on the RD is, uh, I think it's five or six. I think it's five. Five or six. So 100, yeah, 119K is the max that Kane can do right now, which is fine. That's still a very, very good number. I'm happy with that. So Dingo is just there for the extra debuffs just to have consistency. So one thing right now is it's a little sketchy on my Hazel because I am only level six. I don't have the uh, boosted where she doesn't take defense pin. Once you get the defense pin thing, you literally cannot die uh, with Hazel, which is super, super nice. Uh, so that just is going to add a ton of safety to my run so where I can manual or auto it. But the thing is early rift i highly suggest manualing it as much as you can to use your soul burn so i was using millum instead of kane uh at first and being able to soul burn millum was huge for my overall damage so am i gonna get a hit with kane here or no uh it depends on if haste rnls if haste rnls we don't get a kane turn <laughs> that's one of the bad parts about using rnl haste any he RNL'd. So we don't get an additional cane hit right here, which is fine. So we'll just go in and do, do one more run so you can see what like the beginning of my run looks like. But that's really all I have to talk about this. If you're a new player, I would definitely say do not worry about um, trying to do Rift. It's not worth it at all. Oops, I was supposed to hit retry. So uh, the Rift for new players, it just costs so much stamina that it's not... It's not worth it to try to get to that one shotting because you won't have the gear and stuff and the characters and everything to get to where you can one shot it anyway. So <laughs> it's just not worth it in any way for you. But so here's the first turn. You can see I did land a defense break. If we don't land that defense break, it really sucks. Um, but getting Gab turn one, one annoying thing with this is Kane gives greater attack buff after he uses a skill three. That is Kane's biggest downfall. Him getting the greater attack buff after he rips sucks because you lose out on so much damage. But 80k turn one on Kane is super, super nice. So he he has very good damage. He's definitely going to be there for the one-shot comp um, for auto one-shotting this. And the thing is auto one-shotting it, occasionally I guarantee you're just going to fail. If you miss your first defense break, you're just going to fail right away. and Or not fail, but you're going to have to do two entries instead, which sucks. But um, I did get a Rift Pet finally, which is nice. But I never get red gear. I've done how many runs of this total? And I've gotten one piece of red gear. I don't know if I'm just getting super unlucky or if the rates are just insanely bad. Because one piece of red gear for, what am I, level 6? That's like 20-something runs. One red piece. Wild. But this right here is so worth it. If you get a, right, or a, a charm from this, it feels so good. Getting red charms out of this is so nice. That is the one nice thing for this. Like, yes, you don't get the Mystic Medals and stuff, but getting red charms is huge. But overall, that's my thoughts on Kane. That's my thoughts on, um, in terms of Rift for new players. Hopefully, this, if you're watching this, this helps you decide whether or not you should pull him. He is good. He's definitely best in slot for Rift, just for adding consistency. But do you need him? No. You can use whatever other team you're using before he came out. You're going to be completely fine. So thanks for watching. I, I just hit 18,000 subscribers today, so that's awesome. If you're new to the channel and want to sub, that's great. If you watch this far in the video, 18K subs is a pretty cool goal. I would like to try to push to 20K by the end of the year. 1,000 subs a month might be doable. But uh, either way, I'm super happy. to Also, second channel, link down below. All right, but it's been Mitch Arditi, and I'll see you all next time. Peace out.